Hello there everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in the Great War Redux mod in which we're playing as a Great Ching. But I played this one before, but we have a special submod you called that we're using. Reworked Ching Great War Redux Submod 2.0. So I played him as a vanilla ish Great War Redux Ching China, but this time we have a different focus feed to see what it's like. But an intro for the Qing. Important notes if you're playing as a Qing is your political power decreases, fascists, and more militant support increases. There's a time until the Zenai revolution in your decisions, which can be changed through focuses and decisions. Have fun. Got it. And the Korean compromise. I'm not sure which one's the right one to do, so we'll see what happens. Korea has long been a Chinese friend. Our sources indicate that annexation is imminent. We need to prevent this. We'll offer Japan, outer Dalian, in return that they do not annex Korea. It's important to note that they may ask for more territory and that Korea will still remain Japan's puppet, unfortunately, but... What they talk about is Outer Dalian is right here, which, 35,000 people, not bad. Um, Korea will still be a Japanese puppet, but, you know, it is what it is. Actually, oh, wow, disbanded army, that kind of, that kind of sucks. Uh, and after that, the Advisory Council. For the recent death of Xi Xi, uh, and the ascension of the Zhuangtong Emperor, we would need to have a, we need have a smart advisory council who will solve our nation's issues. Oh, yes. The National Assembly of 1910. Of course, we still have the Army Westernization, or, yeah, Army Westernization, as well as recovery of national infrastructure. Ooh, but we have Path to Reform. Okay. Build the Summer Palace. Sounds like that's going to get burned down. Set the National Anthem. Huh. The Cup of Solid Gold, Ching Anthem, may now occasionally play. Mobilize the Chinese Workforce. Not bad. The 12 Step Plan. The Dragon Plan. Ooh, that's not bad. Political Power Game. The Tiger Plan. The Rat Plan. Interesting. So we gotta make sure we don't we don't lose. Oh, oh, that's pretty bad. The rabbit plan, sheep plan, the horse plan, monkey plan, rooster plan, the pig plan, and the dog plan. These are, look really good. But I do want to go through this part first to get the naturally sum because we do need. Oh, they demand full full sin in return. They agree to maintain Jap Korean autonomy, but also give them Fusien. Um, so they want that tile as well. You know, it's a million, but there's no factories. Not really any resources, it looks like, so... Okay. You know what? Fine. So be it. I'm not sure how this is going to go. I don't remember if I left this on a struggle or not, but... Oh, well. The National Assembly of 1910. In recent efforts to become more democratic, we've allowed assemblies to happen. The question is, though, what is this assembly will conclude? Now, I would want to race down here because we'll lose an insane amount of political power. But you get plus 40% political power gain. I mean, it's not good. They said that this increase daily fascism support, which is what we're, we're, we're trying to avoid that. You know, we're trying to avoid that with Zai Feng here. But severely low legitimacy. Widespread political corruption. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, purchase restrictions. Boxer protocols. Buying army and appointing the advisory council, and of course a bunch of indemnities to a bunch of European nations and America, and I guess Japan as well, Italian and even U.S. Of course, like I said, and Tong Mengui. Our country is in a difficult situation. With the advisory council advising our future emperor, the decision we make is important. What should we, the advisory council be made of? Extreme reform is the only way to our country can survive at 50 days, which we talk about right now. Some old customs must be upheld. Hmm. Imperial cabinet. Well, this one. The air of anger and revolution lingers in China. The Wigan Qing Dynasty barely holds on to power. Estimated reform deadline. Our experts estimate that if we don't do something by the state, we'll be too late to stop rebellions. Which, uh, you know, 50 days, add 50 days. We need to add more days, some old customs. Uh, I, I kind of want to see what happens if we go this way, so. It's fine. Uh, the National Assembly of 1910, of course. Please and thank you. Nationalized railroads. We lose some political power. At 25 days, which is good. I mean, we're losing so much already. Minus 50%. Which will be only losing minus 40%. I'm not sure if that's going to help us out a ton. We might need to come down here first. I don't want to lose that much more political power. I mean, we lose a lot. But you had 250 days, which is actually really, really good. So, finding corrupt officials. Corruption has, since the beginning of China, been the bane of it. Learning from history, it is important we eliminate this corruption fast and efficiently. Very nice, very nice, very nice. All right, very good, very good. And of course, infrastructure, it's important and all, but factories are more important. But then again, we have what? 
ninety percent of our number of uh, like people expect ninety percent of our number of civilian and military factors to produce consumer goods. Yeah, we can use negative four for trade. That's it's not good. <laughs> What do we have here? Anything here? Yikuang, which is not bad, especially since we want to stay with us, even though we do have a Regency Council, which is not good, especially since we want Puyi to go big and older and stronger and better. Wang Shu Zun, not bad. 250 is quite a bit, but that's really good to get more daily uh, authoritarian support, of course. Liao Ma is not bad, too. But we do have these generals here, the divisions, they're all the same type, and which they are 12 combat with. They're not that strong. All right. Well, whatever. Comment side, everyone, about that. Please go ahead. In addition, we can follow Yuan Shikai's advice. Increase his popularity of proto-fascism. Get more, way more political power. But we remove 30 days from mission estimator reform deadline, which is not great. And we need a lot of political power here so that we can uh, pay a lot of indemnities. Yeah. That's going to take some time. That's going to take a lot of time. Bankrupt officials. Yes, please. The National Assembly. The National Assembly has been urging us to speed up the process to creating a constitution and a parliament. Hmm. We're all, can do not worry. Oh, you get quite a bit of political power, though. Because we're going to lose a lot. Power remains in the Son of Heaven, and only the Son of Heaven. Hmm. I, I do want to reform. I, I do want to see what a reform Great Qing would be like. So, we need to hurry. We can add a bunch more days. How many days do we have left? We have 79... 78 days. This one's going to take 70 of those days, which means we would need even... Oh my goodness. We need as many days as possible then. I want that political power. Which wouldn't be bad. Amount of corruption busting. Oh, the math. Oh, I don't want to do math right now. 50 days. That's pretty good. 250. You do this 100 times for 100 days when removed. Oh, that's going to take extra time. You know what? Give me the extra time. We need to hurry. Screw it. We're going to find the corrupt officials and have massive government crackdowns. Our grip over Mongolia loosens. We're slowly losing control of Mongolia. Well, there's recent revolutionaries in the region demanding for a republic. Well, just all soon, of course. Ooh, add 100 days. That's not bad. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, and we lose quite a bit of stability, though. Political power. An extra 100 days does not hurt. But then again, we just got 224 days, so that's not bad. Mm, reform and recovery. Add 25 more days. Reaffirm the Qing Mandate. Yeah, this one. The Zhuang Tong Emperor. That would be really good to get, but we can't do that one. Prepare for the revolution, not bad. Mandate as well. Diminish the KMT. Assert the Qing Mandate, which would be good as well. Oh, that's pretty good as well, yeah. The 4,000 year system. Locate Tong Mengui leaders. Okay. Add Imperial Anti-Corruption Council. Gives you more days. You do lose 2% political power, but that's not very much considering everything else. Proclamation of German Confederation. Huh. Massive government crackdown. It's time to eliminate these corrupt officials once for all along the Qing Dynasty. Um. What did you do, Germany? Why is... Oh, well, this must be a historical then. All right. Hmm, well, okay. We lose even more political power, but we should get quite a bit more once we can do the other one, even though we're going to lose a lot. Oh, if we go straight into negative 500, I mean, oh, fire the military factory, if you about that, please go ahead. Um, let's try to draw conclusions. Uh, get 25 more days, 100 more days, we just lose political power. I mean, there's, there's a whole stuff about getting political power down here, but it takes so long, and stability is nice, but... Reform and recovery. Massive government crackdown. Oh, well. I'm worried that... Oh, I think it was revolution, of course. Like, that's pretty normal. 194 days. That takes 140, but it adds to 50. And I'm hoping that this plus 40% just pushes us over and that we can actually get a positive amount of political power. As this is pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, I don't want to lose any more political power if possible. Because we, we have to get political power somehow. Stability, of course, getting more stability would be good. Losing stability, not so good. If we have to, we have to, but... Offer career freedom from the Japanese. That wouldn't be bad. Stability is 70 days for the Pope. Oh, my goodness. 
Because this one says, um, you can avoid the revolution if you manu man maneuver correctly through this tree. Consolidate spare weapons. But this is giving you political power. It gives you a lot of weapons. But they may demand Liao Dong or even all of Manchuria in return. Beg for assistance and crack down on Mongolia. Well, that's good as well, but... And we need political power so we can deal with the buying army as well. Increase buying influence. We get a lot of political power, which is pretty nice. I'm trying to avoid the revolution at all costs. Now we might be able to, we might not. Oh, that's actually not bad. Oh, yeah, that's actually, huh. Okay, lose uh, the buying army influence. Add 10 days to reform his desire. That's not bad. Uh, how, much, how much influence do they have? We can probably afford a little bit of influence loss. Probably. 150 political power, but you remove 30 days. Can we afford to removing 30 days? You get 90 political power from this one, too. Remove 10 days. Of course, if you spend 25, you get a bunch of political power, so you really get 65. You remove 10 days, and you have 50 days. That's not bad. Oh, well, hopefully you can see this. Oh my goodness. Oh man, that research speed. Oh god, that's so bad. Major protest crackdown. Well, well, we're more than halfway through this one. Goodness gracious, I hope we can get through this one. Honestly, we might not even use political power. Maybe, or not even do focuses, maybe? <sighs> Stability, you get a lot of infrastructure, that's not bad. Yeah, I'm just, we gotta add the days. I think probably nationalizing railroads just in case would probably be good. I don't wanna lose any more stability. Even though we're losing stability every week, apparently. And war sport, well, it's already dirt low, but whatever. Nationalizing railroads will make will take the railroads from the rich. We'll also make the poor more happy to upset the upper class, which is it's a give and take. But we only have 88 days left, so uh, we'll see. Uh, and you guys are still training, which that's not looking very good. Hey, lose some artillery. That's actually not too bad, but also we're losing weekly manpower because of the Tong 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 Mengui. Lose stability, daily democracy sport. Lose a lot of weekly manpower. So, please don't put us over the edge. Please, 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 please. Of course, we do get 250, 250 days next. Maybe we'll do it, reaffirm the Qing mandate. Maybe that one next, maybe. It's time to reset our mandate rule one way or another. Because I don't want to lose any more stability. We're losing so much. Of course, once it's 0%, then it's okay to do that one. Uh, we get better surrender limit, though, at least. A week left. Well, we've already survived a week, so. Or probably more than a week, but whatever. Austria-Hungary. It's, of course, only 1911. South Slavic Terrace. Czech Parliament. Oscar Lorraine. Oh, Shikai's influence grows. With the political shrink, power shrinking, his influence grows. Holy... Oh, we're still losing political power. Well, crap, that was a bad idea. Well, um... Oh, he's actually gaining 26%. We're only 41%. Ooh. We have 300 days, though, which is not bad. We just got to read from the mandate. And, uh... Prepare for revolution, maybe. Uh, 4,000 year system. Yeah, we might go with that one first. Artillery? Oh, my goodness. 236 days. My goodness. Uh, it's not good. I don't want to get any more influence. Dismiss them. You could add 10 more days. We might have to do that. I was hoping that that... Of course, we still have minus 10% diminished political corruption. We still corrupt. <sighs> so bad. Mm, restore the Qing Mandate, please. Insert the Qing Mandate. I think we'll do that one and then do the 4,000 year system. Because it gives us slightly more stability. It gives us slightly more daily authoritarian drift, which is... Something we could use for this one to help offset the democracy one so that they have the proto fascists don't get too strong. Restore confidence in the military? That might be the way worth going. Because it keeps adding more days. It's not a ton more days, but. Ooh! And that's not bad to do as well. 
Oh, yes. Ah, we get more daily democracy support. We get more daily authoritarian support. But you get 10% more political power. Assert the chief mandate. Must account as democratic sentiment through own spreading, spreading of propaganda. As it currently stands, the legitimacy of the people of our nation is low and crumbling. With We must act. And fast. Focus on ridding the country of this democratic nonsense. Oh. Oh. Oh, you can't do both. Place house... Place leaders under house arrest. Assassinate Dr. Sun Yat Sen. But you get more daily democracy support. Execute Tong Mengui leaders. I kind of want to see what happens with this one, so. Oh. They're not mutually exclusive. And we got the political power, anyways. Okay. For the new system, dynasty of the rule chances of dawn of time. It's only right that the system continues. I'm okay with getting a free focus. I think that's really nice. I'd like more stability. But okay. Mm. Gene Constitution would be nice to do. Uh, finish new reforms. That'd be pretty good. I have to complete this focus, and then our revolution will be prevented. Oh. So we do have to reform pretty darn quickly. But yeah, we'll go with... Uh... Actually, this one says... Weakened Tong Mengui movement. Oh, so they remove oh, no Tong Mengui. They did Mox plus point zero two. The other Moxie goes way up though. Did this before authoritarians. Hmm. Regardless, it still sucks being in China. It sucks. And this hurts us quite a bit too. We don't get almost any uh, command power. Political power goes down, which sucks. Organization for divisions sucks. Recovery rate sucks. Surrender limit. Planning speed, max planning. At least we're not losing any more political power for now. It might happen, but oh my goodness. It's so bad. So bad. Why did I agree, agree to play as a Ching? Oh my goodness. Yeah, 4,000 year system. Another 75 days, that would be great. Alright, so we're looking a little better now. Not great. Slowly getting worse. Slowly getting worse, but whatever. As, would 10%... Actually, we lose quite a bit more political power. But would... And we get slightly more daily support for authoritarians, and we get low legitimacy. Will we get 10% more political power? Is that really worth it? I want to say yes. Base value is 2... 0.2, so basically we'd be losing 0 0.02 every day. Restoring confidence in the military wouldn't be bad. You know the 50 days. Imperial propaganda is not bad, but still doesn't help us with political power. Uh, anti corruption would mean lose more political power. Lose more political power. And then lose even more political power. Full reform. Way more stability. Sacrifice military factories. Third plan. Stability is nice. A deal with the West. Qing wants to lift purchase restrictions if they accept. M lose more political power. Purchase restrictions goes down. That's okay. Uh, the path of reform. I mean, that sounds like the right way to go, but this doesn't give us any political power. I mean, this one does down here, but it takes so long to get down. Stability is nice. 10% more would be decent. We could we could risk it. Of course, we were in a worse position with political power earlier, but our government is corrupt and divided. While a full crackdown is costing time consuming, we can make a very public execution to prove that our government is capable, at least to other people. And there goes the Mona Lisa. How about some more naval doctrine? Sure, why not? Actually, we don't do a political focus focus at all. We get quite a bit of stuff. Well, we'll see what happens. 84 days. It's going to take a while, but do you need to do both? No. This requires one of the following. Get another 100 days. This one gets 100 days as well. How many days do we have left? 206 days. Not bad. There goes Wadai. A widespread propaganda effort will help convince our populace, populace, population of the benefits of the dynastic system. Let's at least stop the bleeding, and which we sort of already are, with losing uh, authoritarian support. That'll be good. So,
you know, guns are looking good. Of course, we're still training our guys. I mean, it's not bad. They're almost done training, but 18% strength, not good. Not good at all. And we don't, there's no point in coming to this screen because we can't even make anything. Wow, we're making 0 .2, 0 0.1 a day. We're not making any a day. Holy cow. Okay, now we're making some. Barely, but we're still making a little bit. Not bad. A little legitimacy, it does suck. With Dong Wang Gui, we keep losing 15,000, so really we're only losing now 12,000, which is still not good. Low legitimacy really sucks, though, but it gives a little bit more stability, I guess, to work with. Even though we're still losing some. World tension goes up. Daily, daily command power multiplier. Oh my goodness. We get none a day. Wow. Yeah, why did I agree to play as China? Oh my goodness. Emir of Bukhara. Huh. Kiva as well. Who is he? Wow. Is that hair or is that a hat? Regardless, I like it. And the guy with a hat. Mohammed. Hey, Mohammed. How are you doing? All oh, right. And I apologize for taking so long with this. It's just, uh, it's just long focuses. Oh. Okay. But uh, this is definitely ahistorical with the German Confederation and Russia leaving the Entente. Wait. Is that normal? Is it? Wait. You might be positive finally. They did they, they didn't even have Trentino. That doesn't look normal. Prep propaganda. You get more days. Oh. Hey, we're no longer losing political power. We're not really getting any. We're not losing any more, which is great. Actually, do the Ottomans have? Oh, he's got a friendly musk no, mustache. Glasses. Funny glasses. Conca Arabia. Con request the kid. Kedivat. Legacy of the Faiths. Emirate of Riyadh. Mass workers protest. Oh crap. To satisfy the working conditions, workers have organized a protest march which is gaining more and more people. Protest leaders demand labor reforms. Oh boy. And so the workers have no reason to protest again. Yeah, it's helpful. Um, socialism. Mass riots. Uh, get more socialism for now. It's fine. We actually might be able to... Oh, never mind. Diminished legitimacy. Well, that's looking a little better now. We got a little more stability as well. Hey, at least we're done making uh, training for now. Well, at least we got four enough guns. It's better than none. Stable economy. The economy of the country is slowly stabilizing, which is reflected in the mood of the population. The population doesn't see any threats from our neighbors, so people are eager to develop civilian economy with great desire. Due to the fairly calm situation in the world, more support is declining, which does suck, even though it's sort of wrapping up. But more stability is really nice. 182 days. Follow it up with 100 days. We need to deal with the West and then Imperial Propaganda. We can do this stuff as well, but we don't have to. Oh, actually, if we do this, ooh, that actually be really good to do next, because then we get more weak. We don't lose as much weekly stability. We lose daily democracy support. It's kind of costly in terms of days. But not bad. Look at Tong Mingui leaders. Nice. The democratic movement keeps many of its top leaders secret. Losing our spies, of course. We'll find and track these people. Oh, and we will find them. Hey! We just increased our daily political power by 50%. By 0 0.01. Weekly manpower would be good and all, but... Reducing the amount of weekly stability loss? I don't think it would be... It would be better. It would be better. And then maybe place leaders under house arrest? Placing these democratic figures under house arrest will limit their ability to influence our citizens, of course. So 255 days. This one will give us an extra 20 days, which is not very much. And this one gives you 75 days? I think doing this stuff and just waiting for this stuff is probably the best. I could be very wrong, but... Nice. Um, you know... Oh! The U.S. actually owns the... They literally own the Philippines. Oh, the Germans. Oh. Man, these German colonies look a little sad. They need more love. Mayo Ke Kebi? West Cameroon? Cameroon? Oh, and Portugal's not having a good time. Yeah, we had two or three more divisions. Can't send volunteers because, well, we ain't allowed. Social liberalism, huh? 
unstable monarchy. Well, that kind of sucks. It's kind of like us right now. Uh, versus Emma Manuel. Manuel. Alfonso. Look at this handsome guy. Taft with a mustache. Robert. Whoa. He's got a lot of green. And the Mexican states led by Francisco Madero. They're raiding Texas. Mexican Revolution. Huh. All right. Nice mustache. Man, I wish I could grow a mustache like these guys. Nice. Place leaders under house arrest. Place these democratic figures under house arrest will limit their ability to influence their citizens. Going through all this stuff might not be worth it, but it might be. Let's at least do this one. We'll see what happens. Because this one give us. Same five days. Fire the military factory. That kind of sucks. Oh, well. 220 days. Not bad. Hey. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hmm. But you lose political power that way, too, though. Path of reform. I just want this for all, but... Even getting the minus 2%. Consumer goods factories. That's that's not that's not very much at all. That's really just not much. The art of war. Finish new reforms. Yeah, that ain't much. And there's nothing on the left side here. And they've got all sorts of stuff to do down here. Taiwan or war. So we'll be here for a while, which actually be kind of nice. Because this mod moves relatively quickly. Which I love, 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 but. Gene Constitution. Prepare for revolution. We don't have to do that one. We're not losing any war sport either. That gives more command power. But do we need more command power right now? That's a real question. Honestly, probably not. Nationalized railroads. If we hit 0%, 10% or lower st for stability, I'll probably just take this one anyways. Because that's a really good one to get. Okay. Oh, we can create our own faction this way. Stability. Oh, this one we get more weekly stability. Ooh. That could be really strong. 191 days. We're still confident in the military. Our military is weak and broken. A simple military show off would restore at least some confidence. That'd be pretty good. Yeah, I'll do that one. More getting rid of that end of weekly stability stuff. Damage Tongmengui movements. The Balkan League. Very nice. So now we're actually. S oh, hello. Oh goodness, is this how it was in World War before World War One? These aren't even connected. Oh, it's disgusting. Giovanni Goliti. Look at this guy. Abbas to help me. Oh, this guy. Hamed Sharif Al Sinusi. He's a theocrat. Traders of East Sahara. Okay, weekly manpower. That's not bad. Wow. We win or we die. <laughs> Resistance grows speed in our states occupied by the enemy. Holy crap. Crow? Cow. No idea the democracy support. Strict confidence in the military. Why not? That, I think that would be good to do. So at least this way we stop losing weekly stability. It's not very much. But it would be very good. Serbia looks really small. Austria-Hungary is doing okay. France is, well, French. Assassinate Dr. Sun Yat-sen. Oh, wait, do we get... Do we... A massive protest in Xinjiang. Protests erupting all over Xinjiang, setting our inefficient rule and demand for a republic. Seems that the Zungars are back. Let's we'll all soon. Oh, well, crap. Um, weakest stability is going to be super, super important to get. 75 days, 50% chance to reform it. And a fail. There's a good chance we can get that one accomplished and done. Destroy Tongwing movement. I think maybe doing this one is easier to get more days as well with them under house arrest. No one knows that they suddenly disappear. Oh, yeah. Well, just in case, let's go and do this too. Yeah, we want to make sure that we're on that. And we're not on weekly stability or not on autonomy, so. Have to use. That would be good. We only have 7 army XP. Gosh darn it. Oh. Well, Maiji's gone. Goodbye, Maiji. Goodbye, sir. Support weapons, nice. Happy 1912, everybody. Let's get some support equipment. We could probably use some. And another two weeks ish for that. Do we actually? No, we don't have any ports. No one needs repair? They're all okay enough that they don't have to repair. I'm a little concerned, but. You know what? 
Sometimes you learn not to ask questions. Fifty point five one percent. Uh, well, is that actually going down? Yeah, yeah, it's actually going down. All right, not bad. Let's go and execute them, because why not? We like doing that, and hopefully stability will actually start increasing, and maybe we can actually get more political power from here on out. Now that's hopefully what we can do. Form and recovery would be bad. Oh, we're gonna wait for that one. We gotta keep a high amount of stability for now. If we have to do nationalized railroads, that's fine, but still. Maybe assassinate him after this too? I mean, it's 85% chance of doing well, but in order to destroy the democratic movement, we must destroy its leader. We have an assassin ready to take him out and frame it on a radical communist. Two birds, one stone. Oh, whoa. Oh, oh. Who's this? Qing New Army, 3 2. Alright. Good amount of artillery. Upwards go low. That'd be pretty good. Other than that, there's not really not much else happening. Who's the leader of Russia right now? Nikolai II? Ah. He's an inept autocrat. You lose political power stability. You get war support, political Pfizer costs, and conscription loss costs. Not bad. And you guys are by Franz Joseph I, last monarch of the old school. Another autocrat. But this guy's inept. And you guys love by some social democrat. But actually, Italy and Austria Hungary are in the same alliance. Alright. Tokyo Berlin Pact. Oh, wow. Join Germany, Japan, and the band of a colonial war. Oh, boy. And of course, these guys over here, too. Nationalist insurance. Poorly organized army. A moderate protectionism. We have Messina earthquake aftershock. Sluggish industrialization. Scramble for Africa. Emigrazione Italiana. Question uh, Romana. Question uh, Meridionale. Victor Manuel III. Little, little saber. I think it's a little sober. A little saber. Henry, 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 some dude, Henry, Henry. Or extension like normal, fleets at rest, Lord's opposition, holy crap. Uh, King George V, English staff, as well as Pax Britannica. Not bad. But now we get trucks at least, and maybe eventually we can actually uh, make some. Ooh, we definitely need repairs now. But hey, not bad. Now we're going to actually get weak disability. We'll try this. If it goes poorly, that, that's why we're going to save and uh, see what happens. If he doesn't die, then we're going to be in a really bad place. Just saying. Actually, for now, actually, we're actually getting more authoritarian support, which is great. Awesome, 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 awesome. Xinjiang Lujun. Tong Menggui. It's still going down. So hopefully this goes well for us. I'm hoping it goes well, because we need to do, still do a deal with the West. Oh! Huh. Oh, he does have a unique focus tree. Ah, oh, I'm going to play this bar 7 golf. Actually, how are you guys doing? Navy committee, imperial military exhibitions. Interest do more revolutionaries, Lenin, private trade unions, the firemen of Europe, sleeping bear sounds really cool, shatter of empires, presidential election, supreme ruler, oh, cold shock, huh? Reunite white generals, first Russian constitution, pan Slavism sounds like fun, unite the Polish people, okay. Seize Tuva. Dial in the war. Russia strike movement. Guardians of Orthodoxy. Ultimate of Persia. Build Berlin. Vladivostok Railway. That seems pretty nice, actually. Okay. Legalization of Marxist literature. Alright. Yeah, we got too much more. Yeah, we'll see. Come on, please let us just get her done. Well, the Russians are definitely killing each other. So what do you have here? Contain the Kaiser or Weltpolitik? I feel they contain the Kaiser. This one. Play Middle Africa. Finish Habsburgs. I think I've played as Germany quite a few times. I think I've done Backstab before as well as support Austrian claims. It's been a while though. 
I'll say the Adriatic Sea, Romanian Pact, Bruderkrieg. I'm pretty sure I've done that route before, but we'll see. France. What is a French? What are the French up to? Oh, abandoned by the British. Okay. Well, who are you, Armand Falieres? Something like that. This joint government. Pretty normal to be French, and that happened. Revanchism, of course. Um, a lot of French stuff. It hasn't really changed since I've actually played this mod, so. Mm, how about Serbia? Oh, look at this guy. Conservative Grandi. Not bad. Golden Age? A Golden Age for Serbia? Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Hey! Okay, he's assassinated. As is coming on me yesterday, he was ambushed by a group of assassins and mur just, just killed. Oh, okay then. Well, the revolutionary leader dead, who will lead the Tongue Mangui now. All according to plan. And now we're getting more weekly stability. Now let's do some reform and recovery. Our nation is weak and fragile. A rebellion is imminent and we need to act fast. Let's be careful and work hard for a greater Jing. Still under 200 days. Nice. Get some engineers. We've got to make some support equipment as well. We're just going to make stuff in general. We're out of steel, which sucks. Alright, so I want to avoid this one because we just can't afford to lose too much more political power. So we'll probably do this stuff last. As sufficient focuses, assassinate Sun yat -sen, execute Tong Mingui leaders, and imperial propaganda are taken. We can bypass this focus and avoid any restrictions. The Art of War. Eliminate the Baiyang Army. Oh, wow. Of removing it. 25% chance. 75% chance of removing it. Oh. And it retires and retires. One of the two options will happen. What? Aren't they the exact same thing? Um, okay. Oh, no. They start a civil war. Oh, okay. Or just bribe them. Huh. I figured you on Shikai. Because he was a guy that wanted to create another empire, Jap not Japan, but China. Wasn't too successful with that one, but still. Or we could take a lot, a long time to get these ones done, which gives more stability and political power. A lot more political power. Oh boy. Stuff we could use immediately, but. I do want to do the Qing Constitution because we will continually have this thing hanging over our heads. I think it's just the best way because we don't get any bonuses like the days and stuff. So we still have to think about them days. 35 days, 105 days. Oh my goodness. Expand consumer goods. 145 days is not bad. 35 days. You know what? Maybe expand consumer goods. As it's short, it's sweet. We could probably get through this one pretty quickly. We'll have to make sacrifices to satisfy the population's wants. One way to do this is to divert production to their needs. Give them what they want. Who cares if it's good or bad for them? Just give them what they want. Right? Right? Ah, that's right. Oh, and there go the Serbs. Good luck. The war on the Balkans. Powder cake, huh? Happy 1913. Border's not bad. I like how they divide all these provinces up. That like, makes it look quite a bit nicer. A point one one. We're getting somewhere, everyone. Sacrifice military factories. Oh, that's not bad. We get a lot more days. 170 is not bad. Ooh, and more naval stuff. Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Full reform. Way more stability. You lose way a bunch of support support, though. Adds 500 day. Wow. Do we get any more war support here at all? Because I don't want to like, lose any more war support if we don't have to. Uh, no. I mean, there's stuff, stuff over here, so we probably want to take this stuff first before we get over there. So, Sacrifice military factories, maybe? In order to ensure the betterment of our country, we must focus on matters other than the military for now. Oh, 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 that's really bad. A civil war in the Ottoman Empire. Abdul Mahid II versus Isma Enver Pasha, Tyrannist. Oh, that's kind of nice. Now that sucks for you guys. The big ol' suck bomb. Oh, well, that's awkward. Uh, you're not even in the Balkans. You're, you're in Anatolia. Balkans are here. Oh, oh. Well, if you can't beat them, join them, I guess, quite literally. Full reform? Might as well. Desperate times call for desperate measures. A massive diversion to consumer goods should keep the populace happy for now. Sick man of Europe? Yeah. 
Separatist sentiments, pretty normal. Bara Yeltuter. Wow. They do. They have a truce, but they're in the same alliance. So, okay. Yeah, four or four would be good. Keep them happy. And we're going to lose four military factions, which is so bad. And we have, like, no consumer goods. But we already don't have consumer goods, so. Not like we're losing anything here. Ada Pazari? Oh, wait, why is. Oh! Constantia is not even the capital. And neither is Ankara. Oh, Haifa? Jerusalem? Damascus? Moab? Moab. Mother of all bombs, if I do say so myself. Oh, we need trucks. We got plenty of trains, though. Four reforms. So after that one. So we, for this one, we actually need state level anti corruption councils. And then one of the following. So we, do, we don't have to do all these yet. Getting more stability would be nice. And 100 days to the deadline, but it takes 140 days. Uh, yeah, 105 days to do. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love infrastructure and stuff, but it only gives us 75 days. You lose 30 days in total. Minor military expansion? You're losing so many days. You don't even get days from this one. So doing this one, and then racing through here, and then maybe get to that one, I think that's probably the way to go. Yeah. Mm. And this one, you don't even get anything here, too. I mean, yeah, don't get me wrong. We need the guns, whatnot, but... Hey, 0.18. I've never been so happy to see us getting 0, 0.0 or 0, 0.18 political power, so... Oh, four, seven coffee, not doing so well, man. And it's only 1913. Wow. Oh, this must be the, their African puppets. Austrian staff. Uh, Ireland doesn't exist. You still... Oh! Oh, look at that guy. The Bull Moose. Oh, yes, please. Bull Moose. He can be my president any day. Ooh, what, ooh yeah, that's right. Research speed. Which, I mean, 159 days is pretty bad. And that's very weird how we both got the same amount of days for both of these. Oh, coincidence, I guess. Don't want to do this one. Appoint anti-corruption council. Oh, all is going to hurt. We will got to make sure that the corruption doesn't rise again. A council that oversees this will help us with this. Oh, do we really want to do that one? Hey, that's not bad. Look at that. 0.32 every day. Okay, so we got more than enough days. Second Guangzhou uprising. That's not bad. Honestly, I might just finish some of these off screen. So we can, can continue and see what happens. An elected anti-corruption will both... An elected anti-corruption. Probably council? Well, both ensure that there's no corruption within the council and satisfy the citizens. Well, elected anti-corruption council. And then, uh, state-level anti-corruption councils. A national council will miss many small cases. We need statewide systems to ensure this permanent well-being of our system. And a deal with the West. We will offer Brandon a certain amount of gold in return for them to purchase restrictions. But I think we're going to end it there. We have so far been able to mitigate the really hurtful stuff of war indemnities, the Tong Mengui, um... And just trying to promote more authoritarianism by convincing the people that we should have authoritarian government here. But other than that, I think I'm going to do a little bit more of this off screen. And we'll be back together for the next episode. But if you enjoyed the video, uh, leave a like. Uh, subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow after we, when we'll see the results of the second Balkan War. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.